beat Datko, yes. okay? One. He is a very oh. good player. He got knocked into losers, I believe, by drinking food somewhere. It may not be drinking food, maybe somebody else. I have a note in here, so it was Machiavelli that Machiavelli, put him into yeah. losers, and he beat him 2-0, and it was pretty vicious. It was a two, job, two stock and then a JB3. Now, I don't know how well Hard Reed does in this matchup. Yeah. The last time I played Reed, he played Wolf, and he was just kind of goofing around. So I don't really have a whole lot of knowledge about that one. Can you fill us in on Hard Read on this one, Seth? Um, I don't know about him specifically for the Game Watch matchup. I know Zero Suit is his main go-to character now. Um, was a Zelda player previously. Gotcha. Um, I do remember that, actually. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I don't know. But with Deco hasn't been in the scene too much. Um, da I, if I recall correctly, is actually in the, uh, the Dallas area now. Uh, has been for a little bit. But doesn't make it out to like all the weeklies. Um, okay. So, uh, personally, I don't know if I've seen these two play. So huh. far, really close match, though. Both players definitely at the percent where they can start fishing for kills. That's going to be a neutral air. Yep, that up B while rising. That's one of the scarier parts, the uh, scarier spots for getting up B by Game Watch. The fact that it can hit so fast on the ground whenever you're just like trying to press buttons and scuffle with him, and then you're like, hey, welcome to the top blast zone, and here is your complimentary neutral air. Yeah, basically. And that's such a brutal thing, especially with com his combo ability. Like, just in general, anything that Game & Watch does, yeah, really up till kills. Yeah, it's Game & Watch. <laughs> he was on a platform. <laughs> that's all. I've had a few of those moments today where I just stop in the middle of what I'm saying and I go, really? <laughs> yeah. There, there are definitely those moments, those moments that can happen in Project M. It's like, oh, well, that, uh, that, uh, that killed him. Okay. Um, okay. That's all I can say. So down throw to neutral air, to down throw to neutral air, to neutral air, to forward air. That's yep. a combo. Zero it? Suit's <laughs> combos are really scary. If you don't DI down and away on that neutral air, she gets so much mileage off of it. Even if you DI down and away, like she can potentially still get involved. It's going to get the back air there off the side B. Very well done, indeed. That that back air is so safe, dude. The way Pretty you can safe, space yeah. it out. I know in Brawl it was zero on block. Oh, okay. Yeah. They, it, like, it, it, you couldn't grab it, you couldn't do anything, yeah, unless yeah. they, like, were in you whenever they hit you. Yeah, and even then they'd be able to jab or probably have to more. Yeah. Well, I don't know about jab, because they would have to turn around and jab, and her jab is frame one, but that's two frames to do that. And the yep. shield grabs in Brawl were so fast, so I don't know if that would have happened. Um, I believe they were still frame, like, uh, seven. Okay, so yeah, that's entirely possible. But good forward air. That neutral air forward air, that was a really good combination. Now, my good... Ah, balloon count. Balloon count. Typo. One on. Typo. One balloon. One Hard read. <laughs> Hard read. Very important things. Reed has it, yes. I, I'm dropping all the most important parts of this and just balloons. Oh, Jaws getting some buckets now. Hard read has to be very careful with those. Good so, back here. Yeah, so the neutral B, obviously, you know, is something that he can just consciously not do. However, he can also bucket down smash. Um, yes, that was a thing in Brawl. Yeah, and it was that, a thing in Brawl. That, 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 you, there was nobody in that game that could DI or survive that from, like, the far end of FD. That hit, that, that was done. Yes. You got hit by that, you were done. Do you know Luigi's fireballs were the same way? Not Mario, it was Luigi's. Interesting. Yeah. Good neutral air. That's going to seal that one. Now, mind you, Doss still has a couple of charges on his bucket. He doesn't have the full thing, but in this game, you can do the, the oil panic That's pretty true. early. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it is uh, significantly weaker if you do do that. But yes. it's still a good amount of damage. Still a very fast hitbox. And very, very disjointed, of course, as well. Can I be even mature for like half a second? You said doo-doo. <laughs> so I did. <laughs> so I did. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't. Oh, All right, gets the, the seven. That's going to put him out off to the side. That has erased all of the work that Hardry did. And then oh. Dodge just takes care of the rest. Oh, Dodge. Wow, that sucks. I hate seeing things like that. I really do. Reed with a one stock. And I'm going to circle that one, too, because that was, that was a pretty close game. But they go right back, no hesitation, immediately. Uh, balloon count is still accurate, I believe. I didn't, I didn't I see any more. I mean, tweet at us if we're wrong. Right. Very important stuff. If we get that wrong, we apologize. Yes, in advance. We need to make sure that everybody understands. We stress the balloon count importance here on Twitch.tv, or not Twitch.tv, Hitbox.tv slash Project M Central. Aww. I don't even remember my own channels. <laughs> <laughs> You've been on the scene for a bit. Some extended up air combos here from Dodge. And making that neutral be unsafe, running into shield. Uh, kind of a greedy attempt for the side. Yep. Oh, balloon count. One up on Reed, which actually stopped <laughs> Dab from getting a bucket, ironically enough. That's actually really good. So the, we've got, we've definitely got a really close set with the balloon count so far. Oh, wow. I hate that it hits that far behind him. <laughs> that, that forward air is just nuts, man. Good neutral air. Kills him off the top of all places. Yeah, it's, it's a really strong one. You, just, you go away. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Doesn't particularly matter where. You just go. <laughs> Get the up air, which will actually kill off the side B. Hard read, bringing it back to even. Kind of a 
move around on the platforms a little bit. Kind of scary sometimes against Game & Watch since he has the bacon to cover it, but since it was so far out, able will use that as a little springboard to flip around. Well, this is something I was covering earlier whenever Da and Machiavelli were playing, is that Game & Watch is able to cover a decent range, but it's all like a mediocre range. Right. It's like mid to short kind of thing, somewhere in that range. He can't really cover the far ranges. Yeah, it's, it's like... Oh, oh my man. goodness. At 79%? Dude, you could have died that. <laughs> could have definitely <laughs> hit that balloon, too. Just <laughs> yeah. let it go right by. I'm very disappointed. Slacker, you're going to lose the set now. So, joking aside, that's something we were, we were discussing earlier, is how Game & Watch is able to cover kind of that medium range, yeah. not really necessarily a long one. Yeah, it, it's like the range of like if you were standing mid-battlefield to like the, the rest of the edge. Yes. Good forward air. Seals that stock. However, um, Zero Suit Samus also has a similar range of coverage, but she's so much faster yes, in what she's able to do. Faster. She's It's not just that her speed, either. It's the range of everything that she has, all of her different moves. Uh -huh, yeah. Where Game & Watch is more of a vertical combo-heavy kind of thing, it feels like Zero Suit is more of a horizontal KO and combo kind of thing. Oh. Good reward, really. Okay, yeah. Let's uh, <laughs> read turning over <laughs> and talking to Dot. <laughs> Reed got red. Oh, yep, that's going to be a fully charged death smash. Going to finish that stock off. He <laughs> gets the taunt. All right, so we're on last stock. Game number two, really, really tight set so far. Yeah. It was kind of a, the, the end of game one was a little bit unfortunate for Da. Oh, my. Oh, please, my. please, Stop! Da. Uh, <laughs> so he's, he's got a pretty good chance of the next one actually being a nine. So yes. he's got two odd numbers, and the next one is going to be odd. Here we go. Let's so see what happens. Roll the dice again. So far, this man, this man needs to go to Vegas on these dice. Oh. Forward air. Yep. Not a good position to use the side B. That's oh no! Oh. What is this? Okay, uh. that is two games in a row that have been really tight, really close games where an air dodge decides the right, game. Right. Right. <laughs> like I'll go to the stage with my 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 wave dash, my le my wave land, my ledge dash. Gosh. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's five to nine. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's mean stuff. Good lord. That's just rude. I'm definitely not one to complain about how broken any characters are or anything like that in, in the current rendition of the game. Uh -huh. There have been broken things going on before. Uh, Mewtwo in 3.02. He was a character. Um, and so Wait. was Diddy Kong with two bananas Kong, and the, the dumbest recovery I've ever seen. And the better than cheek forward air. <laughs> <really, yeah. laughs> That's when I was like, <laughs> like whenever like you really sit down, and, like look at the stats. That like this move, it's at a lower ankle than cheek forwarder, and it has more knockback. And it's like, huh, <laughs> that's not okay. <laughs> no, no, we need to fix this. If only there was a team of people that could analyze and discuss this. If only. <laughs> Once upon a time. Yeah, not available anymore. I wonder what the frame data on neutral air is because it seems like it auto cancels and it seems like it's zero on land. Um, it's Whoa! The zero suit neutral air actually just has really low landing lag. Okay. Um, yeah, so it's a, it's a really pretty safe move to like come in to shield on, especially whenever he does it on cross like he did the, the neutral air into up tilt. Yeah, because up tilt's frame three. Frame three, yeah. Okay, very fast. that's Meta Knight's neutral air. Yeah, it's frame three. Whoa! Yeah, a lot of the really fast neutral airs are. I know Peaches is also frame three. And I think that's. Are those the fastest neutral airs? Um, I believe so. There might be a two, but I think three is like the standard, like above average neutral air. Well. There are not enough characters with a two that are relevant for us to know. Right. So <laughs> yeah, if there are very nice amps in there. Yes, that was really, really well done, dude. Um, Reed Especially has turned nice. this. Reed has come a long way as a player. Like you said, he used to be a, um, a Zelda player yep, Zelda and has picked up Zero Suit Samus, and now he's going toe to toe with people that are obviously very well established and very good at the game because they do things like really. <laughs> <laughs> that was the hardest read that he has gotten. <laughs> So far, grabs, gets grab armor on <laughs> forward smash. All right. Oh, Back. very nice read on the spot dodge there, setting up the down air to cover it. There's no way you can avoid that joke, man. I mean, you just the <laughs> hard read, it's yeah. going to happen. Even that one, I wasn't even intentionally. <laughs> <laughs> <It's just laughs> okay. Up air, kills him off the side, odd place to go, but... I feel like if Reed were to do more back airs out of the... Like, he had an opportunity back there where he did an up air instead of a back air. Yep. I feel like if he would have fallen it on the back air, he might have gotten more of a KO off of it. But I also have to consider that he's playing against Game & Watch, so maybe he would have done an up B to get out of something or something like that. Right. I, I still think uh, spacing with the back air is really safe. It's a really, uh, really good move since it reaches so far out. And like you said, you know, safe on block. Yes. It, it, safe on block when space. When space, of course. Now, I mean, that's a pretty generic term because so is, like, Fox's back air, but this goes further than Fox's back air. Significantly further. <laughs> <laughs> this is much easier to do. Good up air. That's going to send Da out. I don't think he has a jump. Oh, 
That's going to be a stock. So, <laughs> ironically, if Da had actually kept holding the bucket there, he would have just <laughs> absorbed the down smash and gotten away. But, uh, I, I don't think he would have grabbed the ledge, though. I think he was just done. Um, oh, oh! <gasps> oh. <laughs> I thought he just dragged him and we were done and we're off to the next stock. Instead, Da saves his um, opponent. Probably a good decision. I mean, realistically speaking, up throw to neutral air, uh, full hop neutral air, like you mentioned from Mr. LZ earlier. Yep, yep, that is one way to get a, uh, around opponent's SD eyeing the up B. Left off stage from the F smash. And one of the big weaknesses I can see with Zero Suit Samus in this particular matchup is she doesn't have a whole lot of really strong out of shield options. Yep, yeah, that is uh, her. Like her grab is good now. Uh, it's not not the greatest range. Neutral air is pretty good. It, you know, combos really well. It comes out fairly fast. But uh, doing it out of shield makes it so that it's going to be you know, like the not the, not the optimal out of neutral air. Right. You want to be doing it while falling to the ground. Exactly. That should have been a neutral air. That should have been a stock. Probably. Went with a back air. I think that may have been a missed input. Good back air. That might. No, nope, not quite. Good breaking on Hard Reed's part, not Hard Reed, uh, Daw's part. That back air, now we've got a 3-1 to one stock lead. Hard Reed really putting some numbers up today, man. Oh, yeah, 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 so surviving to a very high percent, especially against Game Watch is pretty challenging. Yeah, that's what I was actually about to mention. The down tilt, you know, would have <laughs> killed him probably like 50% ago. <laughs> Daw's starting to look for it now. That forward air, that's going to seal it, though. Can't DI that one. Didn't quite make it to 200%. Sorry to disappoint you, Oracle. Oh, yeah. Back air is going to send him out. He uses all of his resources right there, and then down airs onto the stage. Puts himself into a really prime position for the grab, and gives up all of his stage presence. I'm not sure that was the correct decision. I think he should have gone for the platform back there instead of the ledge. Maybe a little more in towards the stage. But now that we're at this part of the game, I mean, some decent combos coming out from Da, but he's not able to like convert anything. Yeah, yeah, he hasn't gotten anything really big, which you can definitely get on a character like Zero Suit's weight and fall speed. Yes. Uh, but like landing a clean hit this... Oh, it gets the five from the hammer. Does not manage to convert afterwards. That's going to be it. Yeah, chasing super far off stage. Okay, he did he had a stock to lose. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he was fine. It wasn't as scary as it could have been. So Reed with um, technically a two Technic stock. I, I, it, he died at the end. I'm putting that as a JV. I think, yeah.